What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Guitar CFD. Uh, I was just on the Dozacraft server and thought I was recording for about the last hour and a half, and it turns out because I changed the config, the uh, hotkey for my Fraps recording because of my modded Minecraft. <laughs> I just spent an entire hour and a half talking to myself, touring the server. Frustrating. As you can see, I haven't logged into my LP world in a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys, um, show you guys around some of the stuff that I have been doing. Um, because it's been a while since I put out a video. And in all seriousness, I need to go on and check out my last video to sh see exactly what I showed you last time. It's been a while and, you know, reasons why. Uh, number one reason is because I got sick in October. Like, right right around that time, that la last login, I got the flu. Oh, man, and it kept me down for like two weeks solid. I just could not get back to normal. And then I got better, you know, and... Man, all of a sudden, like, like I, I get this sinus infection, and it just keeps me down for another two weeks. And then we're, you know, we're in the holiday season, and you know, we got Thanksgiving, and I got kids and family, and you know, you know that that stuff's important to me, and that stuff comes first. Um, but you know, I'm excited to get back and start doing stuff. Before I do that, um, I do remember that there was some recording um, that that I did, and I don't know what the deal was. My mic boost was on or something, but I mean, you could hear the air conditioner kicking on. You could hear my ceiling fan going in on in the background. Like, if I scratched my face, you could hear me. It was just, um, I, I was like, I, I can't post this. It's horrible. So, uh, let's do a real quick world tour since we're getting back on this. Um, and we're going to start down here, just kind of take a, a little inventory, see where we're at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, if I could only get that in my... Uh, oh, I'd love to have that in modern Minecraft right now. Uh, but, you know, I've been at this world for a while. Um, redstone. Looking good. Gold. Not so great. Uh, maybe we do a gold farm sometime in the near future. Bricks. Yeah, TNT. No problem there. I have basically no sand. Uh, we're going to have to deal with that. And cobble, 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 cobble. It's probably time to smelt some of that into smooth stone. All right, so. Oh, man, that music is loud. Let's, uh, options, music and sound. Music, go way down. Oh, ugh. Actually, I think I'm going to turn the music off for this because I'm probably going to be doing a lot of cuts. And I have noticed that when I do a cut, the music sound, if, I, if I'm not, if I have the music going, you can hear the music skip. Okay, so, last thing we did, I believe, was set up uh, this pumpkin farm. And I'm trying not to ruin too much. Alright, so we set up this pumpkin farm. Uh, and it's going to be loud over here. Uh, and then I set up a melon farm exactly like it. Stop. Um... I don't think I can get over there. Let, let's see. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, so, I did kind of change some stuff around here. I need to take a look and see if I if I recorded that. Um, from the original, I took... I, I extended this to a full... Uh, to a full four ticks, the repeater. Uh, because I was having problems with the, the glass staying behind. Um, and it also made it a little bit more compact on the red, so not much. It just dealt with all this mess over here. Um, and the melon farm over here is the exact same thing, just mirrored to the other side. Uh, I went ahead and put a, an actual staircase in here. I can't get in underneath. 
There we go. Uh, let's check it out. Uh, we got lots of melons. And I'll, I'll, uh, craft them down soon. Uh, got lots of pumpkins. Um, so, uh, what I have to show you now is just right here. Um, I needed a reed farm, and so I just went with this thing. Now, this, if you've seen Green Guitar Guy's, uh, reed farm, sugarcane farm, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, this thing is almost exactly the same with just a couple tweaks. Um, in his, he used water. Uh, he pushed it off in, into water. And I wanted to do something a little different, right? So, um, so I have my reeds planted. We'll go up here and look at how this thing works. We'll just do that. Okay, so... <coughs> Pistons and all of them are powered. This this basically turns this entire thing into a bud switch. So anytime one of these grows, we'll we'll see it happen soon, shortly. But anytime one of those reeds grows, it basically completes the circuit, and makes all of these pistons fire at the same time. Uh, it's a it's a bud switch thing. It just it's a mechanic of how pistons work. I can't explain why why it works that way. Um, I have a piece a furnace here with 14 in it that gets my redstone signal to where I need it to be uh, to complete this uh, through the comparator. So what will happen is when one of these grows, uh, all of these pistons will fire, and there's a piston underneath this uh, this block right here, and it'll fire and push that up. And what that, <coughs> what that does is since it's gravel, it'll fall back down. And so uh, it breaks the signal long enough to make all these pistons retract. Uh, but when they fire, it breaks the sugar cane off. Um, and so then my only uh, thing to do was collection. There we go. And we'll just... Oh. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Uh, when it comes to, to falling. Uh, and this, this water here, that's just so that the reeds will grow. Um, I had to use two carts because I ran into some problems. But it does okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, there, no, that one, that was one of these. Not sure which one. Um, but, um, I have two running in under, under there because originally I just had uh, glass blocks in there. And what would happen is the sugar cane would fall into a weird spot on the block uh, that one cart by itself could not pick it up. Uh, so I made two carts underneath there and I just extended uh, this. Uh, I made this a pane, these panes, so that there would be... Uh, some room here so that they wouldn't land all the way at the back where I would, wouldn't be able to get them. The reeds would be pushed forward instead of uh, being pushed down into uh, the the block spaces down there. And so they get pushed forward a little bit and they land on these. Sometimes they land on the reeds. Sometimes they land out here. But I have two uh, two mine carts running uh, to keep it to keep it going. Um, and like I said, yeah, that was my pumpkin. So the last one must have been them. Uh, yeah. So like I said, and it's doing well. I, I don't need a ton of paper, but uh, or a ton of sugar, but um, a good reed farm. Is, uh, good reed farm is always something that's good to have. And I'm I I kind of got started on uh, renovating this and making it look look nicer going with some of the same style I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna replace this with oak wood or not I might I might not I don't really have a good oak tree farm and to be honest with you I, I haven't seen a good <clears throat> a good one can I reach you I want that uh, I want that redstone Ow. 
Um, do I not have? I have a shovel. Okay, so worked on some uh, some renovation here, just trying to get things to look nice. Uh, also worked out some of my kinks with this, and you know I'm starting to make this look look a little bit nicer too. Um, and I'm sorry, this episode is probably gonna be is probably gonna run long. I have a lot to cover, so stick with me. I'm gonna try and fly through this. Um, I extended this all the way down. Um, and I'll, I'll just show you uh, what I did. I need to get some item frames. Um, so we need to be working on our cow farm a lot. Um, so most of these you already know. Arrows, gunpowder, and holy cow, the gunpowder. I don't think I can... How are we doing on there? Yeah, that's full. Oh, man. Oh, I can't get in there again, can I? Oh, derp. Okay, there we go. Gunpowder. Okay, we're fine. Um, bones, and that one is freaking full. Uh, zombie flesh. And then we get back into stuff that isn't full yet. So we've got spider eyes. Those come from witches, not spiders, because I have it disabled for spiders. Um, redstone, same place. Glowstone, same. Sticks, sugar, glass bottles, and junk. I have a couple junk chests set up here because uh, I don't want that stuff backing my system up again. Did I make it where I could still get through here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's done. Something else I did. Um, let's see if I can sleep. Yep, it was nighttime. Um, I don't think I've done anything going this way. This is all still pretty much the same. What do I have going? Oh, man. This is all still pretty much the same. I've been smelting a lot of stone. I needed to put a door back here. Uh, and this is my AFK spot. Yeah, I need to put a door back here. Uh, just so I can access it. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing okay on, on coal. Uh, I could probably put some more in here. And we might do that. Um, I don't... Well, maybe. I don't I don't know. Okay. Um anyways, moving on. Uh I we got to go upstairs, so I'll see you there. Okay. So, here we are. Um let's see. First things that have changed. Uh we'll go in here. Um as we come in here, you'll hear some hear some noise. Um, what I did was I came in underneath and basically made an auto collection for my, uh, tree farm. And I did that because I don't know if you have this problem, but I always have this problem. It takes me forever to chop these guys down. Even with, uh, well that sucked, but even with the, an efficiency five, uh, axe, you know, I mean, sometimes it just takes me forever to go through this, and I'm always worried about, you know, do I have enough in inventory space? Uh, am I watching for stuff to, uh, you know, to, you know, to drop? You know, because especially when you're in this close quarters with uh, these kind of trees, uh, you don't always get the number of saplings that you need to replace it, and so if any despawn. Um, it's a pain. Uh, so what I did was I installed these guys underneath and the way it is set up, 
Um, they empty a little bit on each on each uh, run, uh, but if it gets to the end and it hasn't emptied up, I have it set up. I don't think I can get in there. I think I can still get in on the other side to show you. I don't think I've closed this one up. Uh, yeah, so um, what happens is uh, if this thing ha if this hopper has anything in it, uh, it'll power this comparator, which will then shut off the power to this uh, red to this uh, powered rail, and uh, it basically makes it empty everything out. Like uh, it, and that way I don't get my these guys stuffed which I don't think it would be a problem I just like to have a contingency in case it gets filled up with stuff I haven't uh, installed one of these over here yet uh, I will do that um, well I mean you know it's 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 a process and this is not that big of a deal um, because these guys they don't take long to chop down uh, but at least with this installed, I don't have to wait around on stuff to despawn and collect all the saplings. Again, with birch trees, that's not an issue because I got plenty of birch tree saplings somewhere. Yeah, I got plenty here. I got some down there too. Um, let's take a look at the village. Um, I'm not sure if I recorded when I did this, but. Uh, my village got decimated. It was horrible. I, I mean, really. Uh, what had happened was, it, like, you notice I have this thing too high just about all the way around now. There's some spots in the back still, I think, that aren't. And we'll take a look. Um, hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Yeah, I think there's some spots still back here that I haven't, I haven't gotten all the way up to too high. But, uh, for the most part, what it, you know, um, the, the places that are loaded where mobs can spawn when I'm down below, uh, are covered. And what happened, um, like I came up here and my villagers were gone. All the doors were busted off. I wasn't a happy camper. And I was like, you know, did I leave? like one spot where a zombie could spawn what happened nope an enderman placed a block right there well right there and the zombies tracked their way in here and just slaughtered my village um, and I hadn't like I wasn't coming up to check it uh, what's this guy these guys are both toolsmiths um, oh my god I'm killing it on diamonds here. Um, oh, I'm a genius. All right, so uh, other than that, village is looking good. Um, I did go exploring. I was, I was at a point where I was like, man, like my nearest desert is four thousand blocks that way. There's a mesa biome. It's almost the same distance that way. But I haven't seen a jungle yet, and I've gone 5,000 blocks that way, 5,000 blocks that way. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I went to my desert, and I actually I found a jungle. I uh, got some jungle saplings. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I got some cocoa beans just to have them around. Um, I got an ender pearl somewhere. I need to put that up. Um so yeah, uh, you know things things are kind of kind of looking up. I was I was thinking about starting a new map. Um, I'm no longer thinking about doing that. I got plenty of stuff to do here. I just need to get on it. Oh yeah, um, there's something else that I that I fixed that I haven't told you about. Um, come over here to the Iron Golem farm. Okay, so. Um, Iron Golem Farm is working much better now, uh, thanks to Grutz, who pointed out that I was indeed right, and my um, my farm here, this level was one too high, so they could so Iron Golems could not spawn. Um, on this level and so it was just being wasted 
No longer. It's now um, it's now working nicely and even more efficiently than it was before. Um, also, while I was out exploring, I did find. Um, where's that? Right in there somewhere, where my cursor is pointing. Uh, there's a witch hut over there. And I, I had just said in my uh, hardcore series that I, I hadn't seen a witch hut ever. Um, so, I uh, got some cool stuff to do here. I definitely got some terraforming and stuff to do. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is starting to look terrible. I, I may beautify this place just a little bit. Um, I may make this flow more. Cut, cut a little hole in this little hill right here um, to make it flow a little bit more coming up here uh, I don't know but uh, that's my world tour for right now if this is a short episode I apologize I doubt it's gonna be though because I know that when I get to talking uh, things happen and yeah <laughs> uh, it just oh yeah I f forgot I could do that um, Cactus farm is doing beautifully. I'm almost out of space there. Too bad I can't upgrade to an iron chest. Um, Minecraft, you're doing snapshots. More storage, please. More storage uh, options. Um, oh yeah, there's one one more thing we can check out before we call this an episode. Yeah, so what I was saying is I, I know that when I get to talking, you know, things happen and I just lose track of time. It doesn't seem like I've been talking for that long, but indeed, it has been two hours and I have to cut out an hour and a half of it. So, the slime farm, um, I think I've shown this multiple times. I'm stuffed. I, like, I absolutely cannot take any more slimes. I mean, this thing is just, just stuffed all the way up. And all the way around. Hi, slimies. Wanna, wanna come die? Um, I'll let these guys kill themselves and then I'll jump in there. I think I mentioned this before. I'm having a problem with Endermen stealing blocks. Um, and it just destroys my, uh, my pillar. Um, it's not a big issue. I know what I need to do to fix it. I just have to do it. Um, so, like as I was saying, full all the way, pretty much. Uh, I guess to right here on this one, right? Uh, I mean, it's going to be because I just freed up a stack with cactus. Um, yep. all the friggin way but this is all I have to do to fix this um, Enderman can only grab a block if it's on the edge of something and I think they're grabbing them off off the ledges down there you know so I just need to make sure I keep this lit up to where nothing can spawn up here and then do this same basic thing uh, for the next couple uh, or for the next rows down uh, I don't think the Enderman can grab a cactus block uh, wouldn't be the first time I was wrong though um, but yeah I just basically need to do something like this everywhere that these guys can uh, can get a hold of a, a sand block um, and then and then redo that but I'm not in a hurry because like I said I, I'm full I'm stuffed I, I don't have anywhere else to put any more slime balls and I'm tired of crafting them uh, so I'm getting set up on this kind of stuff um, um, I'm set up on mobs 
Um, really getting to the point where um, I need to do a blaze farm uh, because I I would like to move my uh, my automated furnace room here into using blaze rods which are basically infinite instead of using charcoal or, or coal I mean I, I could start using charcoal and that would that would be easy but that would require a lot of tree chopping for me and I don't want to do that um, I'd rather use a blaze farm as an XP farm um, so uh, that is going to be it for me today I hope uh, you know, like I said, I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, this series is not going anywhere. Uh, neither is Dozacraft. Uh, like I said, I got on there to record today, and I recorded about an hour and a half of me talking to myself. Um, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing this again. So I came on to record here. Uh, so uh, that's going to be it. Make sure you leave some suggestions, and uh, by all means, leave a like. Uh, give me some uh, clues on design tips for for down here um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it oh, I'm not loving it L let's face it I'm I'm not a great builder uh, but I I'm trying I want to learn I want to get better at it um, the only way to get better at something is to do it um, and a lot of times when it comes to building in Minecraft you just gotta start placing blocks um, so uh, until next time uh, like I said, I appreciate you uh, tuning in, and we will see you guys in the next one.